This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Thank you so much for supporting the brands that support my channel. More about them in a little bit. How is it possible that I as a minimalist still have this much stuff to declutter? Seven bags and more. What on earth is in them and how did it all creep up on me like this? Normally I would take things that I declutter out of my apartment immediately, but for the sake of this video I've collected it in my basement storage room since the beginning of the year. I'll show you what it all is and also show and explain where it's all going after it leaves my place. Starting off in the bedroom that houses the cabinet where I keep my office stuff, documents, binders, etc. When I feel the urge to declutter I usually open a cabinet and take a long look inside. I ask myself if I need all this, if something never gets used and if it still adds value to my life. I'll dive in, flip through books, sift through documents and lift things out to get a proper look. Everything that I want to purge or take a closer look at I'll set aside. Here I was actually super excited to realize that I could get rid of a whole stack of documents regarding my first house. Here in Sweden you need to hold on to all documents regarding the sale of a house for 10 years and mid-May this year marks the sale of that first house. I'm holding on to the stack for another month but it'll be in my storage room until then, yay! In this category I was able to get rid of a bunch of office supplies. Some paper type crafts. Notebooks from Adobe classes. A couple of magazines. Some press clippings. A bunch of old yearbooks. And last year's Christmas cards. I also get rid of some boxes and storage containers. So the way that I usually do this is that my son Villa and his girlfriend always have first dibs on anything I declutter. I send Villa texts with things I think they might be interested in and he texts me back saying if they want something. I also sometimes text friends that I think might be interested in something or other. Depending on the condition of the rest of the items I'll either pass them on to neighbors or recycle them. Very little actually goes in the trash. That's only if something's broken or from a hygiene standpoint not good to share. Stick around until the end and I'll show you where it goes. As I mentioned, Skillshare is sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community where you can choose from thousands of inspiring classes on topics like illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing and more. I sound like a broken record, but I really do mean it. It's never too late to learn a new skill. I've already taken lots of classes on different topics, but there's so many more to explore on Skillshare. At the moment I'm learning more about entrepreneurship, so I've been excited to take Sonia Razula's class, Start Your Creative Career, Build a Sharp, Smart Online Presence. I found this class super interesting and valuable. Sonia explains how to change your mindset from being just a creator to being an entrepreneur and to think of yourself as a business. Sonia is setting everyone who takes the class up for success. Super inspiring. The first thousand people to use the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership so you can explore your creativity. After that it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. Thank you Skillshare! This is kitchen stuff I no longer use or am replacing. A 
I pretty much have a full set of everything I need in my kitchen. I rarely replace items, but my dishes were really cheap ones that I got after I divorced over a decade ago and they had seen better days. Some pieces were chipped and the plates were really badly scratched. I got a gift card from work at Christmas and used it to replace the small plates and I used some Christmas money from my mom to get the bigger ones and a couple of bowls. On to medicine. I was able to get rid of some medications I no longer need to take and some eye drops that had expired. Medication shouldn't be tossed in the trash, so I got a special bag from the pharmacy, which I filled and will bring next time I go there. Let's call this category home and fail. It's a nice little mix of random things neither I nor my kiddies use anymore. In this mix is also one of those purchases where you pay way too much money. Wait forever for it to arrive only to discover it's completely not what you expected. I got that mop set after seeing it on Instagram. I was enticed by the neutral color and what looked like great function. It finally arrived. The bucket is too small and narrow and will topple over. The mop handle is made for someone the height of a small child and the mop gets stuck in the bucket. Not the best of purchases. In the bathroom I got rid of some expired products, a set of magnetic lashes and some other little bits that I have no use for. As for clothes, I've already shown them in my recent wardrobe tour, so I won't go into detail on them here, but they're either worn out or pieces I no longer wear for other reasons. So, what I've purged in the first part of 2021 is one small bag of trash, a little bag of expired medication, a book that I'm passing on to my best friend's daughter, a large bag of clothing in good condition, a small bag of clothes for recycling, a couple of books and magazines. Some paper and cardboard for recycling. heavy bag of stuff to pass on to my neighbors and a useless mop set. All in all, seven bags large and small. The paper and cardboard gets recycled in here. The books and magazines are offered to my neighbors in our building's library. All the still usable things are also offered to my neighbors in here. And there you have it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, it really helps my channel. Also consider subscribing, I'll continue to share all things Scandinavian from my apartment here in Stockholm and beyond. If you're looking for sources to things in my apartment, you might get lucky in the description box. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Hej då!